the samurai. These legendary warriors, whose names were first encountered in the 9th century, became Japan's most respected and famous soldiers for 900 years. In fact, their reputation has transcended the period and borders they lived in and turned them into a global actor. Of course, the name Samurai no longer resonates on the battlefields today, but it continues to find a fan base in movies, television shows, comics, and more. So, what were the traits that made them the best warriors of their time? and one of the most popular figures in the world. Let's examine the extraordinary story of the samurai who made a difference both with their martial arts and their ideas. Japan an island country that has no land connection with any country in the world, whose borders are determined by the ocean and which has remained introverted for centuries. This was such an introverted structure that, especially until the 19th century, their friends and enemies were only themselves, so they were generally at war with each other. The biggest cause of wars only 20% of the island's land was arable, and Japanese overlords, called daimyo, engaged in a fierce struggle to seize these limited areas. This centuries-long struggle of the overlords led to the development of new tactics on the battlefield, and especially to the emergence and rise of the legendary samurai warriors we all know. Samurai was a term for the noble soldier class in ancient Japan, derived from the word saburo, meaning to serve. Samurai were truly devoted to their overlords without question and would never hesitate to sacrifice their lives for them on the battlefield. They would receive the reward for these risky services in terms of position and land. The importance of the samurai increased with the prolongation of the war periods, and their overlords began to give them more privileges. These warriors rose to the top of the Japanese caste system in the following years, and became a class superior to the farmers, artisans, and merchants. The samurai even had the right to judge and kill those they felt threatened. The rights that the samurai obtained may seem like a lot in today's world, but in those days, they were thought to be highly deserved for most of the privileges they had achieved with their superior combat skills and their deeply rooted philosophy. What kind of philosophy could a warrior, whose whole life is based on killing the enemy he encounters, put forth a philosophy. And you would not be wrong in this generalization. But when it comes to samurai, they continue to surprise us all with their different abilities. They had always built their behavior in society, their purpose of fighting, their training methods, their sword, wielding techniques on a philosophy. And they called this philosophy Bushido. Although Bushido means the way of the warrior, the samurai actually use this teaching for personal growth as well. They learned and practiced courage, truth, compassion, honor, and many other things under the umbrella of Bushido. In this way, they saw that their main opponent was their own ignorance and passion rather than the enemy on the battlefield. However, 
The warrior had to kill his own mind and ego first. Once he did that, his opponents would have avoided him anyway. The samurai who adopted the Bushido philosophy would become war machines. There was no room for fear in the hearts of samurai who were able to purify their minds. They used death as a guide, not as an enemy. Samurai candidates would receive a perfect education from very famous and experienced teachers. The most important example of how important the choice of a teacher is the most famous samurai of Japan, Miyamoto Musashi, who started training samurai in 1605. This master, who managed to win over 60 sword fights before he was 30 years old, taught at his own school for years and trained the most dangerous samurai in the world. The reason why such experienced teachers were chosen was that the samurai candidates were subjected to a versatile training. They weren't just learning how to use swords. They learned many different styles, such as fighting on horseback and on foot, shooting arrows and melee, and all had near-perfect skill. Of course, in samurai culture, mental development was not ignored as well. They were asked to master strategy and planning. In addition, calligraphy and poetry were part of the versatile training. Of course, it is impossible not to mention their famous sword, the katana, which is identified with samurai. The katana was believed to be the spirit of the samurai, and the making of this sword was considered a sacred art. The forging of the sword took weeks and four different masters worked during the production phase. In this process, a blacksmith who made the mold, a second blacksmith who did the forging, a polisher and a separate specialist would work for the edges of the sword. And when the job was done, this team would literally create a work of art. But contrary to popular belief, samurai used their bows first, then their spears, and finally their katanas on the battlefield. If they could not change the fate of the war and were defeated, they would surrender their lives to their katanas, which are called their spirits. So they would do harakiri because surviving, despite being defeated in battle, meant that he could not serve his master well enough. And this was the greatest embarrassment for a samurai. So he had to kill himself out of honor. Equipped with these ethical values, the samurai not only shaped the political history of the Japanese for hundreds of years, but also provided the formation of the social moral structure. However, the samurai who left their mark on Japanese history would succumb to time, like every military class. With the opening of Emperor Meiji to the outside world, the Japanese went through many transformations and changes. The military class was at the forefront of the elements that Meiji wanted to have a more modern structure. Even though the samurai who resisted the change rebelled, they could not escape being physically erased from the scene of history in 1876. And in an extremely bloody manner. 
but they still hold a very popular place in the literature by name. And they continue to be remembered as one of the greatest warriors the world has ever known. <laughs>